this week we're going to add images to our web project. Um, you will also have a video on how to optimize images for the web so do make sure you watch that first because the last thing you want to do is embed a 25 meg photograph in an HTML website or HTML newsletter because no one's going to thank you for having to download that to view your project. Okay, so let's look at how you can add images in CodePen. So this is what we're going to create so you can view it in a page. The other thing I'm going to show you is how to use CSS to change the width so that you can see the whole image in this little preview pane. If I go to the full page view, it's also there and it is still 100% white. So we can use CSS for that and that's good as preparation for when we get into layouts later. Before you code, you need to have some images. Now you can use photos that you've taken yourself or you can use licensed images from the web. Don't just grab any old image you find because chances are it's copyright and you don't have license to use it. There are websites like Pixabay and Pexels uh, where they have the equivalent of Creative Commons Zero licensed images and you can use those freely as you like and you don't have to attribute the author because there's nothing worse than designing a website and then you have to have uh, little links everywhere as attribution back to Flickr or whatever. So do make sure that you have the appropriate licensing for the images that you'll use and we'll discuss that in the classes. Okay, so let's go and have a look for, I'm going to look for seedlings. These ones are ads up here. So if we scoot down here, we've got one here. Now, um, so that you can use it for a variety of purposes, it's a good idea to download at a higher resolution and then just adapt it for how you need it on your web page and optimize it for the web. Remember, we've got the video showing you how to optimize it for the web. Um, in this case, I'm just going to take the smaller size one so that I can quickly demonstrate how to use this in the code. So I'm just going to click on download there. Okay, and now I've got my little image, which is fantastic. I'll just quit out of preview. The th next thing we need to do is host the image somewhere because unless you have a pro account with CodePen, you can't actually host images on the site. You need to host them on an external website and then link to it as we showed you in the video uh, showing you how to do hyperlinks. It's very similar to that. Now we've got a website here called ImageBB and I'm just going to zoom into the URL here so you can see that imgbb.com and this is a free website where you can upload images and direct link. Um, there are many other places where you can host images that won't allow direct linking. For instance, OneDrive won't allow you to do it. Google Drive apparently does. Um, and I think the other popular image ones, uh, they don't allow it either. So you'd need to experiment. Don't just assume that it works. What you need to do is upload your image, add it to the code, and then post it on the discussion forum so we can see if your image is working or not. The last thing you want to do is submit your final project and none of the images work because you're going to lose substantial marks if you do that. So let's go and upload our image. I'm going to click the upload. I'm going to go and find my image here in the file and I'm just going to drag it over and here we go. Um, now you've got the option of auto deleting the image after a certain amount of time. We need it up there to be able to mark it so you want to ensure it's up there for you know at least six months or so. Uh, so don't auto delete. And now I'm going to click upload. Okay, now it gives you a link here, but the problem is that's not the actual link that will work. There's a couple of different ways we can get the link that will work. We can go to the HTML full linked. Now that gives us um, uh, uh, the image, but it also gives us a, you can see from, remember when we did the hyper 
links it's also got a link tag around it this is really good to show you how images can be links all you have to do is surround them with that a tag with the href um, but the thing is we only want the image itself not that link so what you can do is select the whole thing here the image tag not the a tag let's see if it allows me it doesn't allow me to do that okay so I'll just copy the whole thing and we can paste that in here so in our HTML let's go pasting and we'll just wait there we go but you see how if I hover over it is now a link to image BB and we don't actually want that so I'm just going to delete the a tag before and after it and now once it updates see how it's not a link anymore it's just an image and that's all we want so that's one way to get this code to put in here the other thing you'll notice is that it adds an alt attribute the alt attribute is for screen readers it also helps with search engine optimization and that is what a screen reader would read to someone who is blind or vision impaired so it's best to be nice and specific so photo of seedlings because the other one meant nothing basically so I'm just going to save this okay so that's how we've got that now it's given us zero border we don't really need that so I can take that attribute out as well okay now we can also create our own tag so I'm just going to delete this and let's go back here oops wrong one image BB so this time I'm going to get the viewer link I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste that into here and you can see that this is what it actually links to so it's not going to work if you use this code directly in your HTML but what we can do is right click on the image itself and where are we to do open image in a new tab you can do or copy image address that's the one I want copy image address and we'll copy that okay and now we're going to code this so I can show you how to type the actual link so it's an image tag IMG now with our links oh and there we go we can already see it's starting to try to put an image there but it's got a little question mark or you might get a broken link image um, and that basically says there's an image tag here but it's not working yet because we need the source link so with an a tag it's href but with an image it's source src equals double quotation marks and we paste that code that we just linked yay there we go and don't forget your alt attribute part of your mark is going to be dependent on you using alt attributes for image tags really really important to use it otherwise your code does not validate it may work in the browser but it's not good code so again I'm going to say photo of seedlings and now we've done our image now there's one more thing that I want to show you in doing this if I were to change my view and go to full page see how I've got all of this white space over to the right and then if I shrink it it chops it off that's not what I want um, for the final project what you want is to have an image that will be the width of whatever column you're using or the width of the page basically we need to set a width so we're going to go to the CSS now we're going to be affecting the image tag now do be aware this will affect all images you put on your page that's fine for now but when you're putting things like social media icons we may need to use a custom class and I'll show you how to do that later in the unit but for now we're just going to style all the images I'm going to style the width and I'm going to put it at 100% okay so width colon 100% 
do not also add a height leave height if you don't put height it will automatically size it otherwise you'll end up with a weird stretched image because it will also try to make the image 100% of the height and that's rarely going to work okay so saving again change view let's go to the full page and see what this does so now we've got it 100% of the width and as we shrink it see how it resizes and that's the start of looking at responsive design for different device sizes but this is also really important once you put a layout in so that the image isn't going over the edges of your columns and and things like that so going back to the editor view one more thing I'll teach you just as a little bit of a throwaway thing that you can add is let's put a border around it. So up here, remember how when I copied the tag from image BB, it had border in there. That's really bad practice because that's putting the visual style into the tag itself. What we want is to put that in the CSS here instead because that way we don't have to just say we do a border that is um, slate gray or something like that and we put on all of our images and then the client comes and says well actually I want all the borders to be red um, you either have to go to every single image tag and change that border or you can go to the CSS and change the border there much much quicker because you can change the one tag in the CSS and then it updates all of the images across your website so we're going to say border and border means it can take three values we've got the thickness of the border so if I put two pixels that will be two pixels thick you can choose if it's going to be a solid or a dashed line so I'm just going to say solid and let's give it a color I'll use one of the colors I used with the links last week let's use teal okay and there we go you can see that over here I might make it a bit bigger so that you can see it more clearly there we go six pixels and then if I zoom out there we go we've got it to be six pixels now one thing that you'll notice is that it's now going over the width because the thing is um, our width is a hundred percent our border is six pixels so what we've got now is 100 percent wide plus 12 pixels six pixels either side so what we might do instead is say two percent uh two plus two oh is it not working now though that's interesting because what we could do is then say 96 percent here but that doesn't let me do the two percent that is really interesting okay so it looks like borders at least in code pen can't be a percentage they've got to be pixels so we'll go back to the six pixels but that is within our width so you you know you might want to tinker around with that but just do be aware if you set a width to 100 percent that does not include padding margins or borders that will be added on the outside of it and that's where things can go a little bit strange um, and one more thing I know I keep saying only one more thing only one more thing I'm going to show you one more thing let's make a border radius because this is looking pretty blocky at the moment what if we wanted rounded corners well that is actually incredibly easy to do we just go border hyphen radius and let's also make that six pixels and if we oh no let's make it bigger that way we'll be able to see it 20 pixels okay so if I zoom out now we can see that those are rounded by a radius of 20 pixels and that might suit your overall design a little bit more so just to recap make sure you are hosting your images on image BB or another website that allows direct linking make sure you test it so once you add the code you can either add the code from within the um, HTML fully linked just make sure you get rid of the actual link bit when you copy it over so you can use that embed code there or you can go to the viewer link and then 
you can right click and copy image address but do make sure you're getting the actual image address and not the entire web page. You put your image tag in here with the source and that is the URL where you're going to find that image itself. And do make sure you use an alt attribute. Really, really important for screen readers. And when you go to style it, I do recommend you do with 100% unless you're using a border, in which case make it less than 100%. You can add a border if you want. Be cautious about using it only use it if it makes your design better, not worse, obviously. But with border, you can add three values. The width of the border, whoops, the width of the border, whether it's solid or dashed or, or other visual effects, and what color it is. And if you want to round the corners, you can add border radius. And now we have images in our web page.